In one of the most highly anticipated hearings of the year, the CEOs representing social media are squaring off against skeptical lawmakers seeking to regulate what they can and can't do with their content on their platforms. Fox News congressional correspondent Chad Pergram has more from Capitol Hill. It's a big tech showdown on Capitol Hill. The CEOs of Facebook, Twitter and Google answering tough questions from the Senate Commerce Committee. The main issue, Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. It gives immunity to social media for material published on their platforms. Most Republicans want Section 230 eliminated, arguing it helps big tech discriminate against conservatives. Democrats also want the provision replaced, but worry it could lead to a flood of online hate speech. Google is far more zealous in policing conservative sites than its own YouTube platform. To our witnesses today, you and other tech leaders need to stand up to this immoral behavior. Republicans on the committee hammered Twitter for its decision to block a New York Post article critical of Hunter Biden. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey pushed back, claiming his company is trying to prevent the spread of misinformation. When the article was critical of Joe Biden, Twitter engaged in rampant uh, censorship and silencing. And again, we recognized errors in that policy. We we changed it within 24 hours. This is this but is. But you're still the blocking the New York Post. Lawmakers also signaled they want well, industry the, uh, input the before deciding on new regulation, leaving a possible opening for big tech to keep their immunity. And there are principles at stake that go beyond any one platform. Committee Chairman Roger Wicker is co-sponsoring legislation to tweak Section 230. He wants a better definition of what social media can censor. On Capitol Hill, Chad Pergram, Fox News. With the 2020 election just days away and the COVID-19 pandemic not showing signs of slowing, it's now more important than ever to be able to tell the difference between fake news and fact-checked journalism on social media. Social media expert Patrick Allman says there are ways you can make sure you aren't being tricked by fake news. As voters, we're going to have to do our research a little bit more, uh, go out there and, of course, cross-reference sources as always, listen to you know, other opinions, be civil to each other as always. Oftentimes we have a lot of op-ed pieces or third-party news sites or even websites put up just to propagate this information. Allman says that as far as opinions from friends goes, uh, on Facebook you can always unfollow someone without completely unfriending them if you need a break from their posts.